Welcome, cannabidiol, most commonly known as CBD, gaining in popularity. It's a cannabis compound with many documented health benefits that doesn't make users feel stoned. Through the years, we've profiled a number of people who have unlocked the healing potential of CBD for everything from seizures to pain, even helping deal with certain cancer symptoms. But our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, uncovered an unscrupulous marketplace for CBD that may be cashing in on unsuspecting consumers. The marijuana industry has seen an explosion of growth in recent years, and that includes the CBD industry. Today, you can find CBD in everything from coffee to gummy bears, lollipops, even water. In fact, I picked up these products from smoke shops to grocery stores and health food stores. It seems like they're everywhere these days. But here's a little secret. The industry is not regulated. So how do you know if the products have what they claim? Today, we're at CannaSafe Analytics, and we're gonna find out. I had Dr. Jeffrey Chen come meet me today at CannaSafe. He runs UCLA's Cannabis Research Initiative. Dozens of people have been sickened from fake CBD products. Because CBD is so lucrative, rather than even deriving it from something like hemp, people are trying to synthesize it in labs. And if they make a misstep in their chemical synthesis process, they can end up with something that is not CBD. And then if you were to ingest it, we have no idea what this stuff's gonna do to your body. Some of these products actually contain synthetic marijuana similar to spice, and they're CBD products that they're finding the stuff in. That's so dangerous. When people are making spice, they are synthesizing completely new chemicals and in fact to avoid DEA detection and so you can see how for CBD it could tiptoe towards that very similarly and mm -hmm. that you're trying to get something sneak it past the DEA and sell it to the public. Do you think that a lot of these products aren't coming to a lab like we're in CannaSafe and not testing? Testing is expensive mm -hmm. and sometimes it's almost better to not know the margins in CBD are so high right now. Yes. Hundreds of millions Hundreds of, of millions dollars. The market size and growing so I can totally see these small companies say why would I even bother testing it. Aaron, you have a ton of products coming through your doors here that you're testing. What have you seen particularly with CBD products? Most of the CBD stuff we test does not match the label claim. A lot of it doesn't even have any CBD in it. Some of these products have probably never even been tested. I know you do extensive testing, and I don't think a lot of people watching really know what goes into testing these products. This is an example. Tell me about this. Yeah, so this has over 100 things that we could test for in a product, from cannabinoids to all the safety aspects of it. And they're making label claims, 60 milligrams of CBD. You don't even know what's in here. So if you went to the grocery store and you bought buy a box of cereal or you can see how much sugar it has in it. Would you buy something that is just a surprise? Why don't we get started on some of this testing? So we're gonna give this to the team over here and have them start prepping it. We're taking this product and we're extracting a small amount of that product and then we're gonna dilute it down so we can shoot it on our instrument. And what the instruments do, they measure known standards like cannabinoids, CBD. These instruments are highly sensitive. We actually got the first two in California. The CannaSafe team is gonna test all of these products and pretty soon we'll find out if they make the grade. Leslie joins us after another really interesting investigation. I'm almost afraid to ask what your lab tests reveal, but let's just cut to the chase. Well, Travis, the lab tests were appalling. We tested 20 different products from health food stores, juice bars, grocery stores, you name it. 16 of them failed to meet their label requirements. Five products didn't contain any CBD at all. Wow. And there and was- they, These were <laughs> products that literally claimed to be CBD exactly. products. Exactly. Nothing. And then a lot of other ones said they had 100 milligrams of CBD, and we found three. So 3% three of advertised. Exactly. And, and then also on the e-cigarette fluid, we found dangerously high levels of a solvent ethanol. Aaron from CannaSafe said the levels that he found in that fluid could make somebody really sick. 